My name is Rob Gilson and I teach at the Blue School in New York City. I teach the Blue School STEAM course. It's a hands-on makerspace course. We get our hands on all kinds of tools from drills to sewing machines, cardboard, 3D printers, microcontrollers, microcomputers. We want to make stuff, but we want to make stuff that's meaningful and important. Otherwise, we're probably just making landfill, and that is a no-no in the STEAM lab. We have a design process at Blue School that holds its first step as the most essential. Empathy. Why are we doing this? Who's this for? Is it even important? That empathy step is where you develop the will to press on when it gets weedy, because the design process always gets weedy. Biomimicry brings that empathy, that purpose, to our work. The why is clear, the importance is profound. Huge challenges await us. The youth design challenge combines that urgency with agency. We can do something to help. For instance, we studied climate justice in our middle school and we found that kids really appreciate knowing that in this journey ahead of us, we have powerful allies. We have on our side all of the most powerful forces of nature. We have nature itself on our team. Exploring that alliance with my students is one of my favorite experiences in all of teaching. City kids, where I teach for instance, but arguably all kids today, just don't get the nature that they need and that they deserve to feel connected with and devoted to the planet. When we study biomimicry, it helps me share with them some of what I learned growing up in the woods and creeks of my youth is that nature's amazing and it's scary and sometimes itchy and cute and weird and muddy and that nature heals. Nature seeks balance, as should we all. When we study biomimicry and participate in the Youth Design Challenge, we follow the general flow of the YDC storyline as provided by the Biomimicry Institute. The power of the curriculum is how flexible it is to meet the needs of a variety of classrooms and experiences. So this content works really well in a makerspace or in a science classroom or in any topical exploration with kids that will allow them to research, be amazed, get creative, design cool things, draw or make models to represent that thinking, and then share with the community that excitement of their discoveries and their innovation. So for instance, in our class, to get our hands moving, we play with things like styrofoam alternatives made of mycelium. So we create cardboard molds to generate all kinds of shapes that inspire us, like hearts and megaphones, or tools that might be really important in the future, like Thor's hammer. We call that one mycelionier. And I would say my favorite projects across the board are just the ones where the students are all in where they're clearly inspired by the purpose through the process, and then they use their video pitches to reveal that investment. My list of most memorable would have to include the cheekily, yet very deliberately acronymed Aridity Survival Suit. I teach middle schoolers, which came to life through the magic of green screens, or more accurately, a big green bed sheet, and childhood imagination. Another one that stood out was inspired by the need for stable emergency housing for refugees of all kinds. But for this project, they were focusing on climate refugees that was inspired by trees themselves, as well as the woodpeckers that love thumping on them. And watching that team connect with that concept and develop that was so inspiring. That's what we're in this for. They were all in. They actually took first place in the Youth Design Challenge for that one a few years ago. The earlier that we honestly and sincerely expose and explore with our children these powerful responsibilities we all have and the choices that we can all make, the greater chance we have of taking the right steps into the future together. Biomimicry adds the perspective and then this collective experience that's a great launch for all students into the worlds of engineering and biology and design, innovation itself. I would just encourage you all to play with biomimicry. Keep playing with biomimicry if you already are personally and professionally. Have fun with it and be amazed. Keep the pressure low and the possibilities high and let the kids know that you care about them and the future planet that they are going to inherit from us and they will care a lot more about exploring it with you.